Hey there, Felipe. Uh, today I've got the tutorial for the DirectX menu uh, hack that I was talking to you guys about a couple of days ago. Um, I'm now going to show you it quickly. But basically, all this is is a menu that here is the code as, as you can see, and we'll be doing that from nothing to finish. And basically, I'm just going to use this. So uh, this is this person's injector, Jigger, I think it is. Um, I chose this one because it was fairly simple and that's what I'll have for you guys on the download. I'll probably link to the uh, page where you put the file anyway, but you can use any other injector, it doesn't matter. You can even use the one we developed on the DLL tutorial if you've done that. But um, this is only for simplicity. Basically, I'm just going to show you the hack in action, especially for those of you that haven't seen it. And, um, you know, that way you know what you're going to end up doing. So if you haven't seen it and you want to see an actual work you can go to my COD tutorial um, Modern Warfare so if you go on my playlist of games that I hacked it should be on there so I'm just gonna tick close after injection and automatic injection and that should be good enough so I'm gonna run the game um, and as you can see you can see immediately right there so here it is so on this first tutorial all we're gonna do is the menu we're not gonna do any all these um, letters you see here someone knocking on my door so as I was I was saying basically all the uh, words that you see here and these are just examples and these are the ones I wrote for my Call, Call of Duty Modern Warfare um, hack and all these things here will be done after a couple of tutorials so uh, the first thing we're going to do after this menu so as you can see the menu in action here you, if you press end and I chose end because uh, these are keys that are never usually used in games so you can press insert to hide the hack and stuff so yeah like I said you can't choose enter because often enter it will do something in the game you probably don't want to if you're on the menu for example whatever so press end you turn the hack on see you can do that and this is a basic um, yeah if you press end here it will hide it but this is a, a basic but a cool looking menu I think uh, that you can basically do and end up having for any game so if you've got this template and I will be directing a lot of people here because especially if you're doing any of my hacks so it will be ESPs um, and obviously this only works for DirectX games but you realize that OpenGL there isn't that many games that are made in uh, with the OpenGL library anyway um, although there are some of course like Assault Cube I think was done in OpenGL uh, but most of the games will be done in DirectX that is Call of Duty Modern Warfare Halo I mean most of you guys probably don't even try Halo anymore, but that was just one of the games I tried. Left 4 Dead, Counter Strike, anything that uses a Source Engine. Most things pretty much just use DirectX, so that's the good thing about it. Um, and basically, what we'll first do is we'll, we're going to do our wall hacking camps, but that will be after we've got our full template, and then we'll move on to do a bit of a uh, crosshair. A crosshair will be incredibly simple, you'll see. And all these things you've previously done with me before, but I'll probably go over them as well. So, what I'm guessing most of you guys care about is the wall hacking camps and just drawing some stuff on screen I'm sure you're interested in that as well and the whole idea of having a menu stops you from having it allows you to have a full screen game playing without having to go outside and stuff and after you've done this with me you, you'll be able to draw any menu of your, menu of your own so uh, it should be quite good for you so yes yeah, so I'm just gonna close the game and I'm gonna show you a quick bit of a code and then we're gonna start right now um, so um, this here, as you can see here, mo a big chunk of this is uh, from, um, I don't know if I wrote it here, but it's from Azorvix, I think his name is, Azorvix or Azorvix, I'm not too sure, I'm just, I wrote some notes here, because uh, he was the one who created the template, so all the credits on th in this case go to him, because he created this template which allows people to use, and, um, you know, very nice of him to provide this kind of stuff so all this is this is the basic and he provides you us with a hook here DirectX hook um, Direct3D sorry that gives us Direct3D hook which allows us to get into the game and allows us to trigger events within the game um, for example we can this is how wall hack is made we can instead of um, showing a texture as it would normally be shown we get into the event where that texture would be drawn and we say for example draw it red instead so if the texture is uh, the specific stride we you you understand this when I do wall hacks then we display um, you know red instead so that's the cam for you and you know there's other types of cams but this is one of them um, so yeah this is pretty much it guys so we're gonna start the tutorial now so I'm just gonna move this over to the other side um, okay so first thing I recommend you to have is um, 
a copy of Call of Duty 4. Now mine is a legal one because I've had this for quite a long time. Now you can download one off torrents, you can do that. I can't give you guys links because that will get me into trouble. But you can download off torrents. Uh, I think there's a Call of Duty 4 demo actually if you google it. I think you'll be able to get it and it should almost work the same. It should be you should be able to write the hack on it but I can't guarantee you that because I didn't try it. Now if you got any of the game that supports DirectX and you can follow the tutorial well then you should be able to, to do it as well. So if you got something like any of the Counter Strike games do not try and do this online whilst we're doing the, the tutorial but I recommend you have COD 4 because that will be the best thing for our situation so um, all we're doing in this tutorial is the menu and then after this I'll be making the tutorials for war hacks and other stuff okay so um, and you'll see how simple they actually are once you get DirectX working so what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to create a well, we're going to start Visual Studio and we'll create a new project. So, I've got my notes here and every now and then because I know um, I bought a new screen the other day. So, I'm just going to start off Notepad. I bought a new screen the other day and uh, <laughs> this that way I don't have to borrow the laptop anymore and I can make more tutorials and stuff. Uh, and if you guys haven't noticed, I've got a new mic as well. <laughs> so, this is how I spend my student finance. Um, I've got a new mic as well. So, let me know what you think of the new mic. Hopefully, it's working good because it's a similar model to my previous one it should be good so what we're going to start off by doing is creating a new project also something I forgot to mention I need you guys to download um, I'm just going to get this here um, and I'm just going to google something quickly you probably aren't able to see this so direct X yeah so what I need you guys to google is this um, so I'm just going to do that going to get rid of this quickly uh, yeah so what I need you guys to Google is this, right? DirectX Summer 2004 SDK, and that's the DirectX version that we'll be using for our tutorial. And that's because this works for most games. Uh, for newer games, you need probably DirectX 10 version of it. But it, all the Modern Warfare's, everything will work for it. The only game that I'm guessing won't work with it was would be Battlefield th uh, 3. But I haven't tried it. I'm guessing just because it's DirectX 11, I think it uses. Um, or 10 I'm not sure but basically you go here download this this may take you a while because I think it's about 200 and something megabytes so just download it you know and then we'll continue with the tutorial so I'll wait all, the whole time until you finish downloading it and do it I'm now waiting waiting time is over guys I'm hoping you got a very fast internet connection so once you've downloaded it right so download that and stuff and just install it normally interruptions interruptions so I'm back so what I expect you to do is just download this and uh, and then we'll continue the tutorial just install it as normally it should be a very straightforward procedure I'm pretty sure most of you just do this very quickly and straightforward so once you've downloaded install it and then you start our Visual Studio again um, so what we're gonna start off by doing is um, uh, just gonna check my notes so we're gonna create a Win32 project so just click there don't click Win32 console application nothing like that so yeah, make sure you've got Visual uh, C++. Now, if you haven't done one of my previous tutorials, I highly recommend you jump onto my How to Hack Any Game C++ tutorial because if you jump straight to here doing some direct text, I don't recommend you do that because it's really tricky and, you know, for someone that hasn't done this before or any C++ especially, it's very tricky. You will be able to do it nevertheless, but you probably won't understand any of it. So I'm just going to create mine. I'm going to call mine direct 3 d template now I don't know if I've got a file with this name already just gonna try this nope I've already got a file so I'm gonna put the words YT before it because it's YouTube for you guys and I'm gonna do it so you make sure just write that uh, and then click next don't click finish yet and then do DLL although this doesn't really matter and then click empty project so this is our empty project and now we're gonna import a bunch of files now in your description you should have a folder called um, so download this header and C++ files it's called and there you will have mine only has this so far uh, you should have all of these all of these files and you should have this injector right there so and this is the injector we're going to use um, okay now if the person that owns this injector has any problems with me having this then I'll only put a link to that tutorial but it will work with pretty much any injector now um, you can even like I said you can even use the one we created on a how to how to hack any game the DLL injection part you can even use that one if you just modify a couple of things for it so what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to create a couple of folders so header add new filter and we're going to call this one direct3d9c so do that 
and we're going to create one similar for this one. And I'm going to call this direct 3D 9. Oops, I made a mistake there already. <laughs> Earlymistakes.com. So that should be .h because it's header files. You header file. Um, so let's go. Uh, and what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to click here, right click, add existing item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all these bad boys into my folder where I've got my project. So mine's called YT Direct 3D Template. So I go on my documents, Visual Studio 2010 hacking projects which is where mine is and here it is yt direct 3d template and then click on that folder again and paste all of them in okay and those are the whole files so we go add existing item and the first few items we're going to add here was is I'm just going to check there so we got make sure it's the header files now mine look a bit weird because I've got uh, dev c++ but yours should just be the same just make sure it's uh, header files first for the first part so so we're importing direct three dev int and text. Okay, so that's not the one. So it's the dev, where's dev, dev int and text. So these three only for the first part. Make sure they go into that folder. They're all dot h, that's good. So we've imported them. Let's import these ones now. Existing item now, the exact same files except they're the C plus plus versions of them. So dev int and text again, but they have to be the C plus plus source files as you can see here. So we got those, and these are all necessary if you want to have, if you want to have, um, you know, a DirectX hook. Now, like I said, Azorvix is a very nice guy for providing these files because um, this way you don't have to worry about writing the whole DirectX code and writing all the uh, functions. So, well, at least every time you're going to do a hack. So once we've got this one, we can write any hack in DirectX. Um, uh, the only thing we'd probably have to change is the hook, especially if you want to use. Um, because odds are this one's uh, found so uh, if you use this in games like Punk Buster you'll be kicked so you probably have to find another method of hooking but um, this will work for most games because we're only hacking simple games right now it works fine on Call of Duty 4 um, you stay away from Punk Buster servers you'll be fine so although I haven't tried it in a Punk Buster one so I don't know if they'll ban you or not so we can uh, minimize these now that we don't really care about these for now so and then we're gonna add a couple more header files so add existing item and that will be uh, Direct3D9.h, that one, well this one sorry, .h, um, and main.h, which is here. So as you can see those two, we'll add those, and there they are. So the same we apply to this, so make sure you click on the source, uh, source files, add existing item, uh, and then we're going to go for um, same, but the C++ version, so Direct3D9.c++ and main.c++. And those are the ones. So um, most of our work will be done either here or in, or in the or in the class we're going to create right now. So now what we're going to do? Uh, let me just have a look at my notes. Change solutions mode. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to do a quick thing here. Now we're going to right click here. Now if you're using Visual Studio 2008, then you probably have to go to Project and Properties. But here you right click. Um, It'll it'll be some sort of property. So right click here, make sure it's on this one and not on the solution. So here, because in 2010 the uh, includes are specific. And now what we're going to do is we're going to include uh, the DirectX onto our project. So we're going to say we're using DirectX to so include those libraries um, to our project, so we don't have errors. So what we're going to start off by doing is first thing here. This stops us having problems with um, uh, strings. So when we do start doing uh, pointer strings and stuff like that, uh, we need to have this so we don't have to write L or text before it. So if you don't understand this, don't worry about it. It's very simple stuff. So make sure you got use multi byte character set. That will be one of the things we need. And then go to let me see if I remember this VC plus plus directories. And then we go to include, uh, edit. Let's add a new one. So uh, new line. Click browse there. Um, mine is program files yours will probably be in a similar place so C which is where my programs are stored program files and then we're gonna go for uh, Microsoft press M till we find see make sure it's this one I've got another one here but that's not the one I'm gonna use make sure it's DirectX 9 SDK summer 2004 and click include actually you just have to press include and then just press select folder okay that should work just fine